Throughout Super Mario RPG, you'll hear rumors of a mysterious casino located somewhere out there. It's arguably one of the hardest, if not the hardest locations to reach in the whole game. Here's how to find Great Guy Casino. As the name suggests, the casino belongs to Great Guy, aka that thing you fought at the top of Booster Tower. Now first, to get inside the casino, you're going to need a membership card, called a Bright Card. To acquire this card, you have to do something oh so random. Return the Booster Tower and start climbing back up. Once you get past this room with a bunch of sniffets inside, you'll find Knife Guy, just juggling here alone like a friggin' weirdo. Speak to him, and after apologizing, Apologizing for trying to kill you, he'll offer to play a game where you have to guess which hand the yellow ball that he's juggling is in by touching that hand. It's not too hard to see what hand the yellow ball is going to end up in if you just kind of keep an eye on it as he's juggling. And most of the time, your reward for getting this game right is a bunch of mushrooms, and most of the time, they're not even going to be good mushrooms. So based off of that, you might stop playing right there. However, this is how you acquire acquire the bright card by winning this mini game 10 times. Child me would have never figured this out. So now you have the membership card. All we need to do is find the casino itself, which is a whole other can of beans. And speaking of beans, you need to reach Bean Valley which you naturally should as it's part of the main story progression. Now, as you continue through Bean Valley, you'll come to a spot with five pipes that have five unwatered piranha plants in them. This flying shy guy will begin watering them, which brings them to life. Now, fight the piranha plant that's at the top here and defeat it, and then go down the pipe. Down here, you'll see some enemies, including an oddly gold-colored chain chop. Fight that, defeat it, and after it's gone, you need to go into the corner here and then jump three times to make a platform appear. Then you hop on the platform, hop up here, and go through the entrance to discover Great Guy's Casino. How in the hell was I supposed to figure this out as a kid? Now, if you're curious about what you could do in the casino, you could play a sort of slot machine by hitting the item chest, play a card game that I'm pretty sure used to be blackjack, but I guess that's too scandalous for the kiddies. So now it's a game where you memorize what characters are on the cards and then pick the card that has the character that the dealer calls out on it. And if you talk to Great Guy, you can play a game of Look the Other Way, where you need to look in the opposite direction of where he's going to point. You got a 50-50 chance of getting this one right, and somehow I just kept getting it wrong. Now this might seem a little underwhelming, however, if you win the Look the Other Way game 100 times, not in a row, just in total, you could actually get yourself a really good item called a Star Egg. I don't have footage of that, unfortunately, though, because I, I didn't want to play this game 100 times. I got, I got like, I got, I, I got like groceries to do or something. For more Super Mario RPG news and guides, check out thegamer.com. I'm Jamie Latour, and I'm going to go sit in the corner and truly think about how many hours of my childhood I wasted trying to find this damn casino.